Jim is just moaning about early mornings. I am not. No, Were no, you? I'm I'm it. Are you pleased to be here? here? I couldn't be more excited to be here. What a line-up this morning. It's, it's a, a great, cracker, isn't it? Isn't it's it? totally disappointing I'm on. <laughs> Everyone <laughs> else is A-list. It's not, because, you know, you've got a big build-up. I'm going to read it for you now. Because it's all scripted, this, you know, you've perfectly. Got a big... Yeah, really, I was amazed you had a script and a plan. I know. I've seen the show. It doesn't come across. <laughs> it genuinely doesn't come across. No structure. Go on, you do your bit, That's go on. That's the skill in it, Jimmy, to make it look amateur. Uh, Jimmy, Jimmy Carr. Carr is a multi-award winning and critically acclaimed comedian for a very simple reason. He's very, very funny. That's a brilliant I went out earlier to get a cup of coffee. Someone came up to me and said, are you Jimmy Carr or do you just look like Jimmy Carr? I said, both. <laughs> <laughs> Three percent of Britons never leave a tip. And they're known as the weirdos that live at the tip. <laughs> I saw a headline, it said, Britain faces crisis. I thought, what, we're running out of faces? <laughs> they're really good. Those are, all, those are all the clean jokes on the DVD. That's it? <laughs> that's Someone's going to buy that for their nana now and go, oh, he's adorable, lovely man with a big fat face. And then they're going to get it home and go, it's just filth with three clean jokes in it. <laughs> They'll be weeping come yeah. Christmas lunch. Uh, you, thanks for getting up early. Hey, you, no problem at all. And you were doing the Royal Variety performance. Um, Is that was, right? It was the most exciting thing. Was it? Well, it's a, like normally as a stand-up, you're out on your own on tour. So, so you're on your own backstage or whatever. The Royal Variety was like being in the best school play ever. Oh, really? There was all these people kind of wandering around back, kind of bumping Bumping past Rihanna, kind of trying to get, you know, sharing a changing room with Take Back. It was, it was so exciting. Oh, but don't, but don't you like to be alone to get yourself into the moment before you go on? Are you happy to have no, lots of No, I'm very happy to have lots of stuff going buzz. on. It just, it just felt, it was wonderful last night. It was a really good lineup. Really it wasn't the Queen watching there, was it? It was, it was Charles and it was Camilla. Charles and Camilla. Now, did they laugh? They, did, they genuinely laughed. No, did they, they go for? They Jimmy? laughed at, well, they laughed at my stuff and they did laughed they? at Michael McIntyre was on and did very well. But then there's a guy called Rod Gilbert. Who, oh. who's a newer comic, and right. he was doing stuff about being Welsh, and he properly, properly lost it on that. <gasps> it no. was really, really, it's really funny. He does a Don't. great joke about his two boys. What do you mean he like, lost it? What, they didn't find no, it funny? No, Prince Charles really kind of he just, just Oh, really he laughed. really laughed. Yeah, it was brilliant. Oh, it was really good. Fantastic. That's but the whole brilliant. thing was great. Peter, who's on in a minute, isn't he? Yes, he yes, is. Yes, yeah. he is. No, well, not Peter, it's Geraldine. Of course. Geraldine. Yeah. Is he going to stay in amazing. character? Will he stay as Geraldine? I think he, think? He, he slipped a little bit last night, just for a second. He slipped, and it was unbelievable. It was so funny. And you've met the X Factor a lot this morning as well. Yeah, Aren't they a nice bunch, though? Seriously. And they all seem, I just, I was kind of Backstage with them, and kind mm. of just sort of sitting around, just kind of watching them, and they all seem to get on very well with they each do. other. Yeah. Which is, yeah. if I were them, I'd be pushing the other one over and trying to get her. Because yeah. mm. surely their careers, if you're watching, yeah. <laughs> listen to the experience. Knock them out. Hurt, could it? Come yeah. on, <laughs> take it seriously. <laughs> just trip them up as yeah. I'm walking by. Something simple like that. You work very hard to be funny, don't you? That's the impression I get. You, you're quite studious about it. You have a computer Careful and you, how you think take about it. Maybe things. if I was just a little bit more talented. <laughs> Just, just I a did little not bit. Mean Maybe it if like I had that. more God-given <laughs> talent, I wouldn't have to work as hard. I do, yeah, I do sort of put a lot of days in. Yeah. But then compared to your average, I mean, I work every day. Mm. But then most people work every day. Mm. You know, most people work, you know, five, six days a week, whatever they so, do. So how does it work? Do you get up, lovely cup of tea, sit down at the computer and think, hmm, I say, I say, I say. I mean, I, I wouldn't know where to sort of begin with the idea of being a comedian, clearly, because like you've watched the show. But, you know, how do you do it? Uh, well, I suppose it's more sort of on the... On, mm. You tend to be more on the road. You know, you're kind of driving to and from gigs and things. You just have little thoughts as you go along and always kind of note things down. And really, it's more of an editing thing. You kind of look back at it and go, is that funny or not? And you can't tell until you tell an audience. Do you need to be a dark character deep inside to be able to be a comedian? Um, a lot of them are out. I don't think you do. I mean, I think there's, lo there's so many different types of comedians. And, 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 you know, some are sort of very light and fluffy and some are very dark. I've got kind of a dark kind of edge. Yes. Have you? But I can do, I mean, I can do things like the Royal Variety, but it's quite difficult for me. Mm. I was petrified last night before going on because, you know, or like being on, you know, GMTV, you're thinking, better not swear. Whereas yes. normally I'm on Channel 4 quite late at night or doing stand-up shows where I can say anything at all. Yeah. No. Um, yeah so it's, absolutely. it's you know, I'm not quite playing to my strength. I feel suddenly a bit nervous. Do you get yeah. under the collar? Well, that's just sexual bit. magnetism. Is it? Yeah, that's is what it? I was, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's, it's a long time since I've had that, so it's quite nice it to recognise it. It could be the menopause. It. It's <laughs> more likely. You see, now, we're, now, <laughs> see, now we're beginning to veer. <laughs> Into the dark it's side. A I know it is. Do you know? I do feel slightly flushed and hormonal. Now look, you've been on tour forever. Yes. Why do you do that? Why can't you're so rich now and successful, <laughs> TV presenter and all of that? Why don't you just sit back? Gold and... digger. 
Uh, <laughs> stop it, you. He's got all my tactics worked out, hasn't yeah, he? Yeah. No, I, why, why be on top? Why not? It's, it's the best feeling in the world, walking is out it? onto stage and, and, and playing. And that's what I do for a living. I think the other stuff is kind of gravy. I mean, it's great fun having DVDs out, being on mm. TV shows and things. But being a stand-up is my job, and I, I like to do it you know, as much as you can. When I mean, most people want to work. It's right. Jimmy, when it, doesn't, when it doesn't work or it doesn't quite hit like you think it's going to hit, like if you, if you start the first two or three minutes and perhaps the audience doesn't react, how do you deal with that? Or does that never happen to you? Uh, no, it does occasionally. I mean, it was like slow to start last night doing, doing the Royal Variety because they haven't... Normally, I'm kind of spoiled. People have come to see me. Yes. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, when you do something like that, they've come to see, they've come to see Rihanna and Take That and Peter Kay. Yeah. And then I'm on and they go... All right, so yeah. you've got to kind of, you know, dig deep mm. and try and, I don't know, yeah. you know, try and sell Feel it. it. Yeah, the days of the open mics in pubs and stuff like yeah. that. You must have started like that. At the, yeah, at no, I mean, it does get, you know, the, you know really aggressive heckles and, you know, yeah. terrible. That you must know. be quite fun. I quite, I quite like the heckles. The mm. best one I ever had was a guy in the front row and his phone went off and he answered it. He went, I'm at a, I'm a comedy show. And everyone heard, he went, I'm at a comedy show. And then there was a pause and he went, not really. <laughs> 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 Yeah, with your mates. <laughs> not going to talk. No, no, you mentioned the DVD. We want to, DVD. We want to plug this. It's out for Christmas, isn't we it? We do want to plug this. Yeah, well, it is out for like Christmas. It, what a happy yeah. coincidence. What a happy coincidence. <laughs> How lucky that you're yeah. here to talk about that. Uh, not for those faint-hearted. No, it's, it's got an 18 certificate for, for right. a reason. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's quite quite rude. Mm. It's got lovely bits in it as well. Has it? Yeah, Has it? but it's, you know. Spool to those, then, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, OK. And have we given you any source material this morning? Will there be some breakfast telly gags in there the There might be show? some breakfast telly gags. Really? It's quite a fun show to do. I mean, it's, it? yeah. I can't believe the line-up on GMTV. I should get up earlier. <laughs> you need to. <laughs> yeah. It's get a up good day. Early. You should see six till seven. It's phenomenal. Six till seven. Yeah. yeah. You do six till seven. We sometimes, sometimes do. They really do six till seven. seven. <laughs> yeah. no, there is an no hour that's six, six till seven a.m. No one's ever seen it. Why do you do that? Is it a warm up? <laughs> no one watches that. <laughs> it, John Stapleton's made of a career. You must have heard of John Stapleton. He's a legend. And Penny John Smith. John Stapleton. Yeah. <laughs> Set Excellent. your alarm clock for Monday morning. You'll find yourself with a real treat. I'm going to tape it. I'm going to watch do it in the it. afternoon. Do it. Do it. You'll love it. You'll <laughs> it's love it. It's very nice to have you on. It Lovely is. to see you. Very nice. Find out where very you can nice. catch Jimmy on tour on our website, gm.tv. John Stapleton's just outside in the corridor. We'll be having a word with you on your way out. I could take him. Okay.